So my friends, today, the short reflection that I've prepared is simply titled, Jesus had grandparents too. Jesus also had grandparents. And it's those grandparents that we celebrate today, Saint uh, Joachim and Anne. So today we're celebrating the memory of Saints Joachim and Anne, who are the grandparents of uh, Jesus. Yes, he had grandparents as well. And these were the parents of Mary, as uh, church tradition to, uh, to, uh, teaches us. And today, in a very special way, we remember our own grandparents, both those who are still living and those who are gone after us. And we are praying that God blesses them and gives them good rest, especially for those who are rested in the Lord at this time. There is actually a global Catholic grandparents association. It exists and it has all sorts of activities that you can be able to use and all sorts of prayers that you can be able to turn to so that you can be able to fulfill your role as grandpa and grandma from uh, a Catholic perspective. In different cultures of the world, grandparents in the world live in the same house with everybody else. And uh, they are there so that they can be able to pass on the faith and the wisdom of a culture to their grandchildren. They can be able to teach their grandchildren how to cook certain traditional or cultural foods. They can be able to share stories on family history. They can be able to teach the grandchildren cultural values, they can teach them about how to manage relationships, and they can also support them not only to grow physically, but also to grow in wisdom and the knowledge that they need. I've seen so many commercial companies in this country, and some of them have learned the trick. Even when they produce foods that are massively produced, they advertise them that in a we, this food is like what your grandmother used to prepare for you. <laughs> it's just the way how your grandmother used to cook this food for you. So there is a certain value about grandmothers and the grandparents that they are trying to, that whatever you're eating is you're eating the heritage. You're eating a lot of history and a lot of things that are packed in the food that you're going to eat. Pope Francis inaugurated the 26th of July today as the feat of St. Joachim and Anne as a, a world day for grandparents and the elderly. So it is on our church calendar and different countries celebrate it differently, but it's there. The Pope declared it uh, this day as the feast day when we celebrate this. This was basically in response to what is happening to many grandparents in so many other cultures and also the elderly. Many of them feel lonely and not needed, and their children rarely visit them, and they only get to see their grandchildren at uh, family events, like weddings and funerals. But the Pope wanted to send our grandparents and the elderly one more time, so that people can be able to learn about their value, especially about the value and the importance, the role that they play in passing on the faith to the next generation. And they can be able to do that in so many ways. They can be, do that through the witness of their own lives, through an active ministry such as uh, volunteering in faith formation at the parish, or even taking time to teach the children basic prayers. Both my parents are already deceased, but one thing that I saw them that I really, really appreciate about them is seeing them teaching my nieces and the nephews the faith. I could come from wherever I've been traveling and they, you find these little kids, they could be able to say all the prayers long before they could even start participating uh, in any faith formation program at the parish. That I noticed and they valued. They could be able to lead the prayers in the morning, they could be able to lead the prayers in the evening, at the meals, and that was totally just priceless, that I could see the grandparents have been able to do. 
the work of uh, passing on the faith to their children. Pope Francis tells us, or tells the grandparents that there is no time for retirement <laughs> in proclaiming the gospel and handing down the traditions to your grandchildren. So besides the grandparents paying for the missionary trips and the youth retreats and visiting them or being present in some way, grandparents can also be witnesses to the faith in a variety of other ways. They can openly speak about their faith and what God has made to them. Children love hearing stories and these are the kinds of uh, avenues that we can be, they can be able to be able to pass the faith on. They can regularly attend mass and also be able to attend the adorations. And uh, they can also offer to take their grandchildren to mass and to faith formation. There are so many ways that they can be able to model faith, but also facilitate the process <coughs> of faith being uh, uh, passed on to the children. I've said this before and I will repeat it again. A bishop once spoke to us when we were young children in high school. And he said that, do not let the faith that you've received die in your hands. Do not let the faith that has been given to you die in your hands. In the other words, we have the responsibility to be able to pass it on to the next generation that is going to come after us. That's not only responsibility for grandparents, but it's also a responsibility that he is actually uh, a challenge that is thrown at us as well. Today, as we celebrate Saint Joachim and Anne, the grandparents of Jesus, let us challenge ourselves on how best and in which ways we can contribute to the passing on the faith to the next generation. You don't need to be a biological grandparent to do that. You simply need to be interested in helping the young children uh, be able to experience and also learn and practice our faith. We are sure that that is what the parents of Jesus also did. In some way, they must have participated in also uh, in the faith formation of, of their children. May God bless all the grandparents that are both biological and non-biological, especially on this day when we celebrate their value in our communities and in our families. Amen. Amen. Amen.